In this video we're going to be discussing the Ion Sync Earthing Kit and it's available in three different earthing plug sizes as you can see here and the only difference on these plugs is the barrel height and um, the small is the shortest, medium and then the large and these are going to be determined based on the thickness of your stack height on your shoes so most minimalist shoes are going to be the small or the medium and then the large would be like kind of like a hybrid between like a minimalist shoe and a traditional shoe we're going to be using the kit to ground these astral shoes and um, the first thing we want to do is determine where we're going to install the plug through the outsole and what we're going to do is we're going to locate a void in the outsole near the midsole where we can kind of countersink the plug into the outsole and so this is going to be a optimal spot to install because it's basically it's not at the forefoot of the foot it's not at the heel it's not in the arch it's kind of in between the arch and the forefoot in like a mild impact zone so what we're going to do next is we're going to take our block anvil we're going to set that on our workspace and we're going to kind of feed the shoe onto the block and rest the cutting board on the location on the insole where we want to cut the hole and then depending on the plug size we're going to be using a small plug because the stack height on this is about six to seven millimeters and I can determine that by just pinching it with my fingers. I'm going to be using a five millimeter hole punch because we're using a small plug. So next I'm going to press the hole punch into the outsole where we want to cut our hole and I'm going to apply some pressure and then use a hammer to knock a hole through the outsole. And I want to give it quite a few good hits until I feel my hole punch going into the cutting board to make sure I make my way all the way through. And now that we have a hole through the entire sole of the shoe, we're going to be taking the plug and you can see how it has like a tip on it and then this cone shape and then up here is a what we call like a what is it a barb that kind of is like a one-way kind of mechanism to where when it gets pulled into place it gets stuck and makes a watertight seal we're gonna feed the plug through the hole from the insole side to the outsole until we see it feeding through right here and then we're just gonna work it through with our hands and slowly but surely we pull on it and kind of wiggle it and work it through And a trick to this is if it's hard to pull through, you can apply a little bit of water here that serves as a lubricant to make it pull through easier. But I'm just gonna slowly pull and wiggle and then re-grab it, pull and wiggle until the barb pulls through and gets stuck on the outsole. You'll be able to see it. You may be able to see that in the camera. But now that the plug is completely installed through the outsole, Next we're going to take a pair of scissors and just cut the barb off flush with the outsole. So we just rest the scissors on the outsole and then we just do one quick snip. And as you'll see the plug is sitting a little bit proud of the outsole which is totally fine. That's going to wear out over time and be sitting perfectly flush with the ground. So we want to conserve and like maintain some of that barb because that maintains the mechanical integrity of the plug to stay installed in place and maintain a watertight seal and so next we'll just do the other one and I'll run through a little bit faster so we take the anvil block set it on our workspace and we're gonna feed the shoe onto the block and line up where we want to cut our hole with the cutting board on the block. We take our hole punch, line it up with the location on the outsole where we want to cut the hole. Apply pressure, hold it in place, take our hammer, give it a couple good blows. 
and then make sure it makes its way into the cutting board. You can kind of feel it. Pull it out. Pull out any remnants sitting to where we got a clean hole cut through the entire outsole. Then we take our earthing plug, feed it through the hole from the inside to the outside where the tip is going to work its way through and then we're going to use that as a pull tab and then we pull and wiggle re-grab it pull and wiggle and if this felt too difficult for you to be pulling with your hands you always have the option to use pliers i've just done this quite a bit and i prefer to use my hands and as you can see the barb has worked its way through so now i'm just going to set that into place on the outsole and now i'm going to cut it and this time I'm going to use a pair of angle cutters instead of scissors just to show the different options you have for cutting the pull tab off of the earthing plug. So I'm going to rest the angle cutters on the outsole nice and flush and then just give it a quick snip. And now we have our plug cut nearly flush with the outsole and that will wear down flush with the outsole over time as we wear our shoes and it wears down on the ground and makes contact for beneficial and like good contact for an earthing connection but that's pretty much the whole process for grounding your shoes using the ion sink earthing do-it-yourself kit